What up, Cubs? My name is Brandon Shabath. I'm joined alongside Jacob Kello. Hi. Jacob, thank Hi. you for being here. All right, Cubs, we are officially seven days away from the NFL season. Jacob, can you believe it? No. It's crazy. So Matthew Stafford just signed a new contract with the Detroit Lions for five years and is now officially the highest paid player in NFL history. Fired up. Does he deserve to be paid that much, Jacob? Absolutely, he does. All right, here's the deal. Matthew Stafford coming off excellent season. You know, hasn't had a lot of weapons in his entire career. Lions GM really not helping him out. But we do have a lot of quarterbacks coming up in the league with uh, free agency next year. I think Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees are coming up. So I think what we're trying to do is set the precedent with, I think it was $20 million a year. I think so, yeah. All right. I think we're trying to set the precedent there. Get him early before, you know, next year we have to pay him way more than we think he deserves. But I think he deserves that much. He's a great quarterback. A, know, lo awesome. a, lot of, a lot of local people seem to be happy with it, but there are a lot of sports critics around the world that, you know, they look at Matt Stafford and he's 5-46 and 46 against teams that are over 500. He's played in three playoff games, I think. I think he's only won one of them. Um, he's not really a, a big game performer except for against mediocre teams. So, you know, that's where the Lions are kind of getting – Getting tricky there, so getting risky. I feel that, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, Cubs, we have, uh, along, along with the NFL, we have fantasy football starting up. A lot of you guys are big fantasy fans out there. Probably yeah. drafted up your teams already. Jacob, how's your team looking? You know, I'm pretty depressed right now because my team sucks, all right? So uh, first round, took Devontae Freeman. You know, about two weeks later, he's undergoing uh, concussion protocol. Could have gotten LaShawn McCoy. Probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. Uh, I, I cried. <laughs> yeah. Where, uh, where do you, where do you yeah. see yourself finishing in the league? In uh, I mean, you know, I usually don't ever draft that strong, but I've won the league, I think, three out of five times that I've played. So I should That's not have record. a problem. Yeah, you know how Jay do. Should not have a problem getting the dub this year. Uh, second round, I got Des Bryant. I uh, got to trust Dak Prescott, throwing him a lot with, uh, without Zeke. So, I mean, you know, team's looking all right. Got uh, Derek Carr at starting quarterback, all the weapons. He's, solid, he has, solid. You know, Marshawn Lynch. I actually drafted him, too. Uh, he's got Mari Cooper, Michael Crabtree he's thrown to. I, I think he'll put up a ton of points, you know. So, I think my team's looking okay, but uh, over the year, I think we're going to definitely improve there. All right, so, so yeah. every fantasy football team has one sleeper player. Who's oh, yours? Yeah. I picked up Adam Thielen in, I think, the 10th round or something wow. like that. Yeah, I was looking at ESPN, all their inside for saying, this guy is going to be the biggest sleeper of the draft. So, scooped him up. I think it was a great pick. Also got uh, Ben Roethlisberger, I think, in the 9th as a good backup QB. Uh, people are saying Ben's too old, you know, he's going to get injured. But I think he's going to be great this year, as he always is. So, expecting big things. All right, in other news, Cubs, this is one of the biggest NBA off-seasons we have ever had, with, I want to say, seven, I believe, all-stars moving to new teams within the next season. And so now, obviously, Jacob, the big blockbuster move was the Kyrie uh, and Isaiah Thomas trade. Yes. So now the Cavs receive Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Ante Zizic, and the 2018 Nets first-round pick, whereas the Celtics only get Kyrie. So mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on this trade? Who won the trade well, first? Well, obviously the Cavs won the trade. You know, you got IT4 coming in, averaging more everything than Kyrie, I'm pretty sure. Uh, only thing that Kyrie uh, really has over Isaiah is the def defense factor. But, you know, uh, I think the Celtics uh, really lost on this trade. Uh, I, I think we're getting word, though, that... Uh, the trade might not happen because of yeah. Isaiah's hip, but I think they'll definitely go through with it. Cavs already got the better in the trade. No point of them trying to milk out more. What's interesting, though, is, yeah, as you, you know, Cavs might want to milk out more if, if IT's uh, physical falls through. Uh, we'll see how that happens, though. But when you think about it, I mean, Celtics' potential starting lineup within the next year, maybe next two years, you got Kyrie, you Gordon got, Hayward, you got yeah. Jason Tatum, you got Gordon Hayward, you got uh, Al Horford. I mean, they're just stacked, it's, and they're, they're young, they're and they're they're they're, they're they're long, and they're tall, and it's. I agree. It's East Coast threat right there. The Cavs are going to be given a run for their money. It's going to so. be tough to beat them. I think. I think what will happen is just kind of similar to what happened last year. Celtics will finish one seed. Okay. Cavs will finish two. I'm feeling that. And then, 
I'm not. I, I'm, trust me, guys. I'm not a LeBron fan, but I think he's just going to overpower them in the conference finals. I mean, hot take right here. Cavs going straight to the finals. LeBron, eight years in a row, I think now. It's too easy for him. There's, just but, no, but there's does, no stopping that man. But does he win? I mean, he's does three. Does he win? And, That's he's three and eight. Three and eight. You know, I hear that number and I think haters. All right, haters. LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time. Michael Jordan. That's false. LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time. There is no disputing this. I'm about to freak out. You give him a good point guard. Kyrie was already great. You give him a good point guard. Give him some defense. You know, he's taking over. It's clamps. I got Cavs winning the NBA Finals. It's over. Old predictions here from yeah. Jacob Kello, Cubs. You know how Jay do. All right, Cubs, thank you for joining us. Jacob, I think you had one more thing to say. I did. September 9th, we got big football game against CC. I want all the boys to be there, be rowdy. Freshmen especially, I need you guys getting loud. Let's hear it for the boys on uh, Saturday, I think. Let's get it going. I think the theme is going to be Detroit because we're playing CC. They don't know what their geographical location is. So Where are they even right now? I think in Novi. It's like the sixth town in the past three years, is it? That sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, Cubs. Of Detroit, be there, be rowdy. God bless, go Cubs. <laughs> all right. For the Cubs Sportscast, I'm Brendan Shabath. Join alongside Jacob Kello. Jacob Kello. <laughs> Have a good one, Cubs.